Hello and welcome back to another episode of 100% Orange Juice. This time we'll be doing Mark final episode, but before that, I think we're long due for a bit of shopping. Uh, so uh, we're just gonna spend half our money on expansions and half on the base as per usual. Hopefully get some more copies of some useful cards, and maybe complete our collection. We're still missing a few cards from uh, both sets, I believe. Uh, Sky Restaurant's pure. It's okay. Getting a lot of gift exchanges. Nice jingle, nice present. Salt. Another Sky Restaurant pure. More gift exchanges. Another Sky Restaurant pure. Put out of ammo. Here's a pudding. That could that'll come in useful. Not so much for Mark though. Uh, more pudding. Little war. Uh, this was uh, one one of the cards we were missing. Effect duration three chapters. Offense and defense will happen twice in all battles. It's a very useful card for combat characters. Uh, we probably don't want to uh, use these cards uh, in the final fight against Tomo. And, uh, and you'll notice that we're pulling a lot of rares, and uh, this is the result of us saturating the, the card pool. You can only have 9 of a certain card, so since we have bought, bought in enough packs, bought in enough packs essentially to have 9 of every common, we're only getting rares and such. So I think at this point we're just gonna go crazy on the base pack. Uh, we may or may not be able to buy out the base pack completely. Uh, we'll see. I do have uh, the, uh, the discount for playing a lot online. When you play online, you get experience, and then the experience goes to levels, and then you can. And then when you reach certain levels, you can buy like shop discounts. But, uh, See, we're just pulling nothing but rares now, so perhaps uh, we might be able to exhaust. And we have exhausted the, uh, the base pack, so you can see the item is sold out now. So we won't be able to buy any more of these cards, but we already have 9 of every copy available. So we're just going to spend the rest of the money on the expansion pack. Oh, uh, yes, uh, here's a reverse attribute field. During this battle, the positive and negative values of each character each ability of both units are inverted after adjustments. So this card is a really useful. It's really useful against uh, characters like Tomomo because uh, Tomomo has nothing but positive stats. And uh, and say you're Mary Popo, then you can use a reverse attribute field, and then you'll be plus one in everything. So you would just be a better version of Pete for the turn. Uh, he absolutely hates this card because, for obvious reasons. He has plus one in everything and three health. If you use reverse attribute field, he'll be uh, negative one in everything. So it'll just be a weakened Mary Popo. So now that we're done buying cards, uh, we're gonna go right into Mark Final episode. Where are we? I feel sick just being here. I don't feel good either. I may throw up. This place is so unstable. It's a weird world. I welcome you all. Popo. Po 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 po. Popo brought them, ma'am. Ho ho ho. Well done, Popo. Is that? Ta da. Tomomo is here. Who? I am the mastermind of this incident and mother to you all. This incident? No clue what she's talking about. Same here. Mastermind of what? She must be a megalomaniac! You guys had your stuff stolen, didn't you? I'm behind all of that. Then you are the leader of a crime ring? You got us in huge trouble. We won't forgive you. Don't expect us to let this slide. My sense of justice is overflowing. Stealing is a no-no. It's the precipice of conviction. You're not making any sense, Q. Listen up! Since you ignored me, let me say it again. I'm the one who created this world and you guys. 
I made you all based on people from other worlds. And I did it because I wanted to be the last boss of this story and get everyone's attention. That's all, understand? All of that when we didn't even ask anything. She must be sick. A deviant. Poor thing. She should just die. That's too mean! Well, if you guys say that much, I'm not letting you finish this game. I'm gonna make you realize just how terrifying I am. And indeed, Tomomo is quite terrifying with her. Six health, two attack, zero defense, and one evasion. The only character to have a net plus four in the stats, using QP as a reference point. Uh, I believe the the second best would be a plus two uh, from Suguri. But uh, mm, uh, is it from Su? No, Suguri is a plus one. But uh, uh, Pete is plus one. Uh, but I'm just going off on a unnecessary tangent here. Let's just let's just build our deck. So you can see we're actually missing we're only missing two cards now, uh, because uh all the cards in the game are what's it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times two, fourteen, fourteen times three. Uh you can do the math on your own time, but uh this is what we have to work with. So we'll do three dinner. Uh the healing is good. Oh my friend is always good against Tomomo. Reverse attribute field is a must. Uh, pudding is generally a good card, but uh, Mark only has 4 HP, so you'll heal 3 HP at most, which dinner already covers. Pudding is better on characters where you can heal at least 4 HP, so say QP, Fernet, Mary Popo, and such. Uh, what else can we put in this deck? We'll put a. Uh, Three Holy Knights to be really passive, and then we'll top it off with uh, two Usa Bits. Uh, we really want to play really defensively. So let's just jump into it, and I believe our partner will be Pete, because he was our partner for the uh, uh, Mark Episode 1, and indeed this is the case. So despite its uh, story base will be a 2v2, uh, it's actually a 3v1, not in your favor. We got really unlucky to spawn uh, right in front of Tomomo, so she might be able to knock us out early. That said, we are no, uh, we're no Mary Popo in terms of combat, but uh, we can we can hold our own. Uh, but all it will really take Tomomo is one or two hits to uh, get the better of us. So. We're gonna take this detour. I want to separate myself from Tomomo as far as possible. And uh, Tomomo indeed goes this other way, so we'll be good for a little while. Uh, we keep landing on drops though, so it's gonna be a while before we can reach level 2. Tomomo is starting to converge with us again, which is not good. But we roll a 1, so I believe Tomomo will finally get in front of us. And this is the case. Mary Bubble puts a trap on my lollipop. I don't I don't think that's pretty I don't think it's very nice, Mary Bobo. But uh whatever floats your boat. Tomomo is gonna level up. And the only good thing about this is we get to hear the awesome theme song. Uh, we're very lucky that uh, Mary Popo put herself in front of us. So, we're gonna, we're gonna get a crack at her. Do a free damage. And we fail to evade, but uh, you always evade once. Because when you defend, you're guaranteed to take one anyway. So, we're down to health. Not the best position to be in right now. So we are actually the only ones without a win right now. To be honest, it's quite a slow game actually. Uh, normally, by this, uh, by turn, by chapter seven, you'd expect the uh, Tomomo to get at least like 
three kills or something along those lines. Uh, we got lucky to get a uh, seagull KO. So we'll be at one win too. And then uh, Pete levels up, so we'll be hearing his theme song now. Probably my second favorite after Tomo Mo's. And then Mary Popo levels up. Not very fond of her theme song. It's very vanilla to say the least. It has a very, uh, very happy go lucky beat to it. It's usually the song you don't want to be hearing because that means Mary Popo is winning. And Mary Popo always wins. So Tomo actually put a. Excuse me, uh, Mary Popo actually put a go away trap on my lollipop, which Tomo landed on. So Tomo got warped. Uh, to this corner right here. Uh, this frees up our lollipop, so we'll be able to use that to level up on the And I also missed the part where, to oh, where uh, Mary Popo got KO'd by, I believe it was a duck? Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, we'll just do some more combat. Uh, pitiful rolls, but uh, we evaded the Sentinel's counterattack, so we're still at zero. Tomomo is gonna finish off the Sentinel. Got her in two wins. Pete is actually ahead in wins at three. We're just gonna tail Pete because we don't want to be put in front of him. Because if he gets the first strike on us, it's most likely gonna be a KO for us. Or us getting KO'd. Would be more grammatically correct. So, Tomomo takes a little bit of damage from the Sentinel. And uh, we'll just tail Pete again. I uh, roll pitiful values against the uh, Seagull. But the important thing is we survive with one health. So, that'll allow us to go back to our lollipop and heal and then become level 2. So, Tomomo gets her third win. Mary Popo finally revives. We're gonna stop at home and then level up. And then we'll go for two or more enemies because we already have that. So Mark's theme is also a very happy go lucky theme. It, it, it's a theme that really breaks the mood. Uh, you have like these awesome battle and conquest themes by way of Tomo and Pete. And then you have this, uh. You have this. Uh, music which, musical preferences aside, we got uh, our third kill off a of chicken. Pete now has five uh, kills. Kills, wins, really interchangeable in my terminology. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take this detour to get some stars. I don't foresee Mary Popo being able to take us out, but uh, if she pokes enough, uh, it'll probably happen. She actually goes this way, so we'll be put in front of her. So we'll do just that. And fight her. We'll do 3 damage. And then we fail to evade, but uh, that's okay. Uh, Mark's evasion for a 1 is really a 50-50. Because uh, you only evade if you roll higher. So then in order to roll higher than 1, you need evasion value of 2. And you have minus one evade, so. Oh, uh, it's actually, uh. Never mind, I think it's a 66%, 67%, something like that. Uh, we have to fight Mary Popo. Uh, we, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Uh, we have to do this because, uh. Otherwise, if we went in front of her, she would get the first strike, and then we won't be able to do any damage. But this is, this is fine. Mary Popo with the uh, wins is the least of my concern. Pete and Tomomo with wins uh, is the main problem. Uh, Mary Popo's at one health, so if we revive fast enough, perhaps we can uh, go in for a kill. And, uh, Mary Popo actually is gift exchange. And uh, I can see from this, uh, from the, uh, s the minimized cards here. I have a big magnum flamethrower and dinner. A lot worse than what we started with, but uh, I'll work with what we have. And uh, since Mary Popo reached level 4, the boss actually spawned. So, hopefully, the boss will be able to do some damage to Tomo, and Tomo gets knocked out by the boss. Mary Popo used Super All Out mode, 
So, plus two attack for all of us for our next uh, combat encounter. I'm gonna go here. My reasoning is, uh, should we survive Pete's initial attack, or be able to counterattack the KO? Indeed, right, this was the case. And I knew this was it would be a guaranteed KO because uh the plus two uh we got from Super Alt Mode combined with R plus one meant uh, that uh Pete would have to roll uh, ridiculous numbers to survive. And he already had two health. He would he could have survived if he had three health, but uh two health not survived. And, uh, unfortunately we're not level three yet, but because I would have loved to use force force revival on Tomomo. Uh, but we're probably gonna miss that opportunity. Pete's gonna fight the boss. Deal two damage to the boss. And get knocked out. Tomo Wall revives. Um, since the boss is spawned, uh, that would delay Tomo Mo's wins, Norma, but she can still get wins through the battlefield squares. We're gonna fight Mary Popo. Okay, that takes down Mary Popo. And then we'll fight the set though, so double kill for us. Puts us at 8 wins. In a pretty good position to go for 9 wins, no matter at level 5. We're actually the highest wins right now, which is really surprising. Uh, but that's just indicative of Mark's very good uh, combat distribution stats. Uh, we haven't gotten any of our rockets yet, but those would really help getting more kills for us. So, Pete and Tomo exchange ones, and so and Tomo fights the boss and exchange ones. Hmm. Uh, we're not gonna fight the boss. I was also, I was also contemplating using dinner, but I'm thinking we could probably tank one more uh, non-boss hit, and then use dinner for its full 3 health HP. Also, if we use dinner right now, Pete and Tomo will be back to full health, which is not too bad because uh, that would make them targets to Magical Massacre, which is Tomo's hyper. And uh, for those that don't know, that just means uh, Magical Massacre simply KOs everyone with full health. So you can use it starting at level 4, and it costs 40 stars. 30 or 40 stars. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Off the top of my head, at least. Tomomo is surprisingly only level 2, and Pete is level 3. Pete and uh, Tomomo and Mary Popo are all in this like tight junction, so it's going to get a bit scary from here on out. We're not going to challenge Pete. Instead, we're going to go for this bonus. And if Pete decides to fight us this turn, he can, but he goes the other way. And we have this huge... Uh, Huge party going on. Mary Popo takes six damage from Tomomo, and Tomomo takes out the Sentinel. Mary Popo is gonna run the fuck away because, uh, if I were Mary Popo, I would too. But Mary Popo gets killed by the Duck. Perhaps better than getting killed by Pete or Tomomo in our case. And uh, we continue to stay behind. We continue to stay behind. Uh, uh, Tomomo and Pete, which is really good. Pete's gonna deal 3 damage to Tomomo and get knocked out by Tomomo in a counterattack. So Tomomo will be at 2 health. So I think we can actually try to KO Tomomo if we. Yeah, we do roll 3. But uh, in this case, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna go for the roll for the lollipop. I would have fought her if I rolled higher than a 3, though, because. Then I wouldn't have the chance to level up. And we're actually going to go for stars, since, uh, We have 278. Oh, we no longer have dinner, so that's unfortunate. Tomomo has the health advantage, so I don't want to, uh, get in her way. And we do have dinner now, so... We're gonna discard here and there. Might be a decision I regret later, but... I really want the health. And I don't really care if, uh, Rathomo might be KO'd here, and then dinner would be a great use. And 
she does, so we're gonna use dinner. Well, she's down. And the only person that benefits from this is us, since Pete was full, and the other two were out of commission. We are gonna stop by home, and then we're gonna go for 200 or more stars now. And are we actually gonna see a first attempt win at a... Uh, first attempt win at a... Uh, at a uh, Tomo's uh, stage? Maybe? Uh, I, I'm contemplating using Big Magnum, but I'm not gonna risk it. I want as much defense as possible. Pete isn't the problem right now. All we have to do is uh, loop back one more time, or... Or land on a lollipop. This boss does not help though. But we can use Big Magnum here to hope for a boss kill. But the boss survives with one health. So this will be our death. That's fine. Uh, it's better the boss kills us than uh, one of these two. And uh, I'm perfectly fine with a Mary Popo getting the boss kill, but unfortunately she doesn't. Uh, we revive, so we'll have a crack at the boss. But Pete's actually gonna get the boss. That puts Pete in an amazing position in terms of stars and uh, wins. And Tomo will use Magical Mask Leader to KO all of us, except for Mary Popo. Uh, Pete has a recovery value of 4, so he wins out on this exchange. Mary Popo is going to fight Pete, which is a really bad idea. Pete's going to get 11 wins now. This is, this is the turning point. Uh, we are recovery value is lower than... Uh, Tomo, so we should technically have the advantage. And he actually summons a boss! So, our only hope now is that Pete gets KO'd by the boss. Hmm. And what we can do is use Force Revival on these two. And we're gonna go for a double kill. Uh, we roll a pitiful value. Oh, I think we just survived. No, oh, that's unfortunate. And uh, Pete does win. So it was looking really good for us, but in the end, uh, the CPU just luck sacked us, essentially. Perhaps using that big magnum on the earlier Pete fight might have made a difference, but uh, that's just the way the key crumbles sometimes. It's an expression I use quite a bit. And uh, that's just not me uh, making a reference to my channel name, named after uh, pastries and desserts. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I wasn't expecting us to beat a uh, final episode or first attempt. Uh, it would have been, uh, been nice, but... One last aside before we go, uh, this is patch 1.3, and it happens to be Saki's cookie, so I guess this is how Saki's cookie crumbles. So until next time, uh, where we'll try Mark final episode again, thanks for watching, hope to see you again, Castella out.